haunted house today, we will need a piece of paper, a pencil, something to color with, and if you like to outline like I do, a sharpie. To start, I'm going to draw a trapezoid shape, so I need to draw two curvy diagonal lines for the sides of my house. Next, connect the two lines at the bottom to make the very bottom edge of your house. To make the roof of my house, I'm going to go to the top, find the center, and then make two curvy diagonal lines going down. I like to go past the edge of my house so that way it looks like it has a roof hanging over it. Remember, it's okay if you don't like the first line that you draw. You can always draw a new line and erase your original one that you weren't happy with. Now I'm going to make the overhang for my roof. I'm going to do this by drawing two parallel lines, the bottom one longer than the top. Connect these two lines with a diagonal line going from the top down to the bottom line. I'm going to do something similar for the porch of my house. Drawing two diagonal lines coming out from the house, connecting them with a horizontal line, and then making a flat rectangle that's really narrow underneath. Now I can add some extra details to my house. Using basic shapes like rectangles, curved lines, and circles, I can draw a door, windows, and other details. For my door, I just made a rectangle with a topped curved edge to make it look like an arched door, and then added a window to it. Be creative with this part. You can add whatever you'd like to your house to make it look unique. whatever you want to add. you want to use for this drawing. 